This is David Ashcraft, and today we're going to talk about three things that have been on my mind recently, including water, wine, and springtime. Here in California, water is critical. Today we're going to look at some of the basic water resources that we rely on in California, and then we're going to talk about the drought as well. Then we're going to move into speaking about wine and the wine business. It's on the uptick. Last but not least, we're going to look at spring, because here in wine country, spring has sprung. Let's take a look. California has four general water resources, including groundwater that comes from aquifers deep underground, and then of course streams and rivers and large reservoirs like this one at Lake Sonoma, all fed from winter rains. And then of course there's the Sierra snowpack, which has been sorely lacking this winter. Now let's take a look at the drought as the last three winters have produced less than average rainfall. And some areas of the state are actually in worse shape than they were last year, while some areas are actually in better shape. Let's take a look at the maps. Here is the California drought map with March 2014 on the left and March 2015 on the right. It's easy to see the difference between the last year and this year, with a notable change up on the north coast in the Sonoma, Mendocino, and Humboldt areas actually having the drought recede somewhat. And that was due to the fact that some of the storms we got this winter were more coastal in nature and didn't penetrate all the way through to the Sierras. Now let's focus on some of the bright spots. The economy continues to hum along. Consumers are trading up in wine. They're buying more expensive wine, which is great news for places like Sonoma County and Napa County and other regions that produce high-end wines and high-end wine grapes. It's great for wineries because it increases their profits. It's great for growers because wineries can continue to pay a good price for the fruit. And it's great for the overall wine country economy, which is great for wine country real estate. Having said that, there's even more to look forward to as spring has sprung in the California wine country with bud break taking place three weeks early this year. Blooms and blossoms of all colors are exploding throughout the California countryside. And the weather's great. Last but not least, there's a lot of new inventory coming online. So if you have any questions or feedback, please reach out. Otherwise, until next time, cheers.